everybody and welcome back to another episode of South Kakalaki Bassin. Today I'm going to talk about Zoom Trick Worms. Um, I watched a video the other day where a guy was talking about fishing a shaky head. And uh, during that he was using a Zoom Trick Worm. And a lot of the information he had was good. But uh, he missed a few things. Um, he was talking about you know, the, how the Trick Worm didn't float. And how it, you know, just sat on the bottom whenever he was working in a swimming pool, and uh, just showing. And it was a good, it was a good information, um, real good video. But uh, I went and started talking to some people that I know, and looking on the internet. And a lot of people don't know the difference in the trick worms. Um, so we're going to talk about that. Now the trick worms are popular, and I don't know too many bass fishermen out there who don't either have some or fish with them before in their in the past. But what a lot of people don't know is that the uh, zoo makes three different kinds of trick worms. They make one that uh, is called the original. Uh, they make one that's called Super Salt Plus, and they do this in a lot of their baits, not just trick worms. And then I don't have any trick worms that are this, but I have finesse worms that's uh, just better than salt. Um, and the difference in these is the better than salt. Uh, doesn't have salt in it and the way I know is because whenever I put one of these on a screw lock I always bite the head of it off and you can know you'll know then if the bait has salt in it or not because you can taste it and the super salty of course is a lot more salty and if you was to pull one apart you could see you know the salt grains in it and then the trick worm it had the original has salt in it but it's just not as much well if you go and watch any videos most of the time about floating, fishing a floating worm, the biggest one that everybody will always talk about is fishing a zoom worm. And during the spawn, they like to fish a white one or a yellow one or something, you know, crazy color. But they don't actually float. Not all of them. Matter of fact, uh, for the most part, they sink. And so you would think that the original having less salt in it would float more than one that has super salt but that's not the case and I'll show you that here in a little bit they just they both sink but they sink at a different rate the uh, better than salt you would think since it don't have salt in it that it would float well it don't it sinks too it just sinks at a different rate the biggest benefit in having one that's got more salt in it is when the fish bite a hold of it they'll hold on to it longer because of that, that salty taste that's in there. But, you know, different applications at different times. For the most part, I wouldn't worry about it. If you're fishing and shake your head, you just can pick whichever one up you want and you go with it. Um, but if you're wanting to fish it with the tail to stand up on it, it makes a difference. And that was one thing that he missed in his video. He didn't talk about all those different things. That, you know, he was just showing, dragging this across the bottom of a pool and it just fall over the tail wouldn't stand up or anything and they make different shaky heads to help you with that you know you got some that are flat on the bottom you got some with little legs but for the most part if you hop this thing up the tail's going to go up and it's going to fall down but it doesn't do it on all of them and in a few minutes we're going to go to the tank and I'm going to show you the difference in them so let's do that alright we're back out here in the shop got my little tank set up we were talking about the different trick worms, finesse worms. Um, I got a pack of the original green pumpkin. I just grabbed some that are popular, some that I like to use a lot. And I got a um, Jumbo Red and the Super Salt Plus. And I don't have any trick worms in the better than salt, so I just have some finesse worms. We're gonna try those, but so green pumpkin original. We'll see what the fall rate is on it. just sank and it just sat there all right so now let's try super salt and this is Jumbo red but let's see what it does it falls a lot slower and you would think that with salt more salt being in it that it would fall faster but as you can see it falls slower 
I'll do that again. I wish I had two of the same colors. Um, but I don't. And different in the salt and the original. But here we go. Let's try this again. Alright. So, what makes them fall faster? What makes them fall slower? And what makes them float? Well, I know this. There's nothing scientific about it. But, this is what I found a super salt trick worm baby bass and this is just an example because this is one I have alright you see a baby bass is got two different colors in it right and I don't mean just straight poured or injected this is probably more of a hand pour type bait but the top's green and the bottom's like a pearl color, right? And it was Super Salt Plus. But watch what happens when I put it in the water. It don't sink. It floats. So what I found is any of their baits, it doesn't matter if it's better than salt, original, or super salt plus, if it is a two-tone bait, it's going to float. I don't know this for a fact. I can just imagine that they're hand poured that way. Here is a original, the natural blue. Another good color. But if you can see here, it also has two different colors in it. Right? Drop it in there. And it floats. Well, that's the original. The other one was a super salt plus. But it's a two tone color bait. So if you're looking for a true floating worm in the zoom, you'll have to get it in a two-tone color. Now I'm not sure what other hand pork baits they have. I think that uh, Z3 Crawl or something they have is hand poured, but So, let me show y'all something. This is a white original Zoom Trick worm that everybody likes to throw. When it comes to the water, it sinks. Just on a regular hook, no way. And sometimes you want that fall. All right. Well, let's take that weightless application just a hook and we'll put this baby bass on there all right now of course it's got the weight of the hook on it and that's all see how it stays straight it falls at a slower weight it's gonna fall because it's got that hook in it for weight But if I was wanting to throw a floating worm, this is the way I would want it to fall. Slow. Weightless. Alright, so let's get to what we were talking about earlier with the shaky head. Let's show you what they do. Now this is a 
finesse worm. Super, super salt plus. Um, finesse worm. Green pumpkin. On a 3 sixteenths ounce. Shake your head with that screw lock. See how it falls and sinks. Falls. Just falls over. Alright, so let's take that off. That's just the finesse worm. Let's put this June Bug trick worm on there. And I want y'all to see this. See how it stood up? and then fell down. That's the way most of your trick worms are going to do regardless of the salt content in it. So when you work these things, if you're dragging it across the bottom, of course you ain't going to get that action. You got to get it a little bit of a pop. So let's put the green pumpkin on there. In the original. Now this is the green pumpkin in the original. Trick worm. Same thing. Actually it falls over faster than the one with salt. So here's the natural blue trick worm. And this is original. See how much slower it falls? So if you really have finicky fish, You know, just as just a suggestion, I would fish something with a two-tone color. And I don't mean ones that are solid with glitter in them. That's not a two-tone color. And this also works with any of the finesse baits that are two-tone. So. This is a Super Salt Plus Finesse um, sprayed grass. This is a good color. And you probably don't think that this one is a two tone bait, but it actually is. And I don't know if I could pick it up in this light or not, but it's uh. It has like a darker color on the top and a lighter color on the bottom. And if we put this in the water, it floats. Drop this straight down nose first. I want to show you some of these other colors that I have too that I like to use. Um, I have one I'm going to save for last. I got a little secret to show y'all. Alright, this is watermelon slice. This is better than salt. Um, and it's also a you can't, it's hard to tell in this light, but it is a two-tone color too. It's more of a clear on bottom and a really green on top. But it floats too. And it's better than salt, where the other one was.
super salt plus. Put that right there. And while I'm thinking about it, in case you asked about any with a chartreuse tail or something, that's a original watermelon chartreuse tail. These also sink. The tail floats a little on them. You see how the head of it went down first? And the, oh. and the tail wanted to sort of stay up some. So those fish differ too. But back to where we were at. Alright. Alright, so this is that sprayed grass. Uh, shaky head. 3 sixteenth ounce with a 4 alt hook. Alright, you see how that tail is still up? The hook's holding it down on the bottom, but that tail is not just falling over. The bait's not just falling over on its side. So, again, just something else for y'all to think about. Two-tone color baits if you want it to float. Alright, so where it really matters, in my opinion, the time that I really want one to float, or not float, and this is my little secret that I'm going to share with everybody. So y'all know that if you watch any of my old videos or any of my past videos, that I love fishing a drop shot, I love offshore fishing. And one of my favorite colors to fish is Killer Dome, right? Talk about it all the time. Got a bunch of my buddies fishing it too. So why do I like the Killer Dome on a drop shot? Well, just like we talked about the two-tone colors. For one, this one, I'll start off by saying it's better than salt. So it doesn't have that salty taste to it. But it is a two-tone color. It's got that purple pink, I mean that pink color with the uh, purple glitter in it. And a clear bottom. So I got a little drop shot rig here with a little short leader so you can see how this thing works in the water. And I'm just going to nose hook it. But... So you see how that worm sort of just stands out to the side? The weight's going to pull it down on the hook. If I hold a tight line, that worm's pretty much going to be floating. And that, along with that color, is one reason why this is a very, very productive drop shot bait. See how it's just floating? So that is one of my go-to baits, and that's why it's one of my go-to baits. It's because of that action. Now the um, watermelon slice that floats is another good one to use. Um, when the fish are like eating brim and stuff. See how it's got that same floating action? Sort of this hangs out there. Maybe a little bit of wiggle. It's got all kind of action. And if you think the bait's too big, you know, if they own little small baits, or they're eating little small bait, just break it off. Use half of it. So before I go, 
just for comparison, I have a uh, Super Salt Plus Finesse Jumbo Red. This is not one that I will generally use for drop shot, but just for comparison. So you know it ain't just because it's a finesse worm. No focus thing. Alright. See how it sinks? Tail goes down, it sinks. Let me know if this helps you any. Like I said, I haven't seen any videos out there talking about this kind of thing with the trick worm. And most people probably just don't even care, you know. I, I don't know, Rick. I care because I, I have different applications for them. weight peg it's, it's just gonna hold it down like a shaky head does. But again if you're looking for a floating worm in the zoom don't expect it to be a true floating worm. Don't expect it to be your white original or super salty. It needs to be a two-tone color, like that baby bass. If you want salt content, super salt plus for the taste, the you know the fish will hold on to it longer. Um, and the originals, they're good, but they have a faster fall rate. But I hope this helps. Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Please do. Um, share it. Help me. Help me. Uh, get my channel to grow. If you've been see, if you like seeing stuff like this, let me know. Um, and if you want me to just stick to the fishing, uh, maybe that might be my best bet. Um, I don't usually, I don't mind telling people how I do things. Uh, I'm not a professional fisherman. I'm just an average guy that likes to go out and have fun on the lake, and occasionally catch a few fish and keep for myself. So. I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all let me know. Y'all have a good day. And like I always say, if you ain't out fishing, you need to be. Thank you.